Hello, can I ask you something? Did you enjoy the museum? Yes. You did? Uh, have, you, have you been here before? No. What about you? No, I've been to the before. Yeah. And what was the most interesting thing in the, of the museum? The um, built-in cinema, small cinema. Yeah. You enjoyed that? Yeah. You did. And what about you? I suppose you're his dad. Yes, I am. Yeah. Yeah, I thought the arts facts were very you good. You were new before. Sorry? You were new before. Say it again. You were new before, sir. No, no, I'm just a private uh, hobbyist. <laughs> That's all, from Holland. No, the, the arts facts were very good. Some of the things they've collected over the years very yeah. rare. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like the fact that you can sit down and watch the film as well. So it's, it certainly is worth a visit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I wanted to see it be made a bit bigger, really, because uh, I think he's uh, struggling for room in there. Yeah. So I'm going to have a look inside myself and ask some questions as well. Right. Thank you very much. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. Nou, we staan hier nu in, uh, in de ingang van het museum. En zoals je ziet is het uh, vol met uh, memorabilia over Laura en Hardy. Wim, wat vind je van het uh, museum tot nu toe? Ja, het ziet er leuk uit, hè? Ik ga daar die man ook wat uh, vragen stellen. Kun je daar een leuke reportage van maken, Flip? Dit is de eigenaar van het museum, die nou wat toeristen staat te, te verwijzen naar een bepaalde... Uh, mooie dingen uit dit museum. So we do have visitors from China to Turkey. Uh, the latest one is from Kathmandu. Holland is absolutely nuts on Lanardi. Dutch people, they're really, as you'll see, we have a donation of money from Michael Moritz. And so if you look on the black and white picture on the door, you'll see in next door that has changed a bit from what it was. Yeah, All right, so you can spend the next hour having a, a nice little uh, keeping out of the rain. All right, thank you. Uh, can I ask you a few questions? As many as you want to. You're the, uh, you're the owner of the museum? No, no, no. No, no I uh, run this this museum for a lady called Marion, and Marion is the owner. I just actually run the, the place f for her. Yeah. And you seem to do a very good job of it, I think. I'm sure. I do. Yeah. I do. Uh, you need to be a Lonardi fan to work here. Of course, yeah. And you're you're a very fanatic uh, Lauren Hardy film. Oh yeah, yeah. Y you are. Uh, I, I worked with Mr. Cubin, and Mr. Cubin had a lifelong love of Lauren Hardy, uh, this museum, and Lauren Hardy in general. So I spent and had a good grounding from off Mr. Cubin, who unfortunately died six years ago now. Yeah. And who who was Mr. Cubin? Mr. Cubin was. Uh, twice mayor of Ulverston, he was the man that put this place, Ulverston, on the map because of Stan and Ollie. He started one little room which was totally full of of the stuff in next door, and he just loved Long Lady to bits, and he started a museum. So, so actually, it's a very privileged thing to do this here, isn't it? Well, it is for a Long Lady fan, yeah. Yeah. How how long have you been doing this? Uh, I don't know. I only came in for ten minutes, but you, you look a long, young guy. I only came in for ten minutes. Something like about twenty-seven years ago, I think. Twenty-seven years already. That's yeah. great. That's yeah. very great. And what does your wife think about it? Well, it, it, that would be good if I had a wife, but I don't have a wife. You see. You, you don't have time for that. I don't. I'm not. I'm too busy for having yeah. a wife. Yeah, yeah of course. Uh, 
later or earlier on you said that uh, there was also a Dutch guy who did some contributions to the museum. In, yes. in, in what form did he do that? Uh, well, he rang me up and he said, I'm entering a Dutch TV word quiz. And if I win, I'd like to give my winnings to the museum. Oh, that, that, uh, that is really uh, very, very nice of this so guy. I said, that's really great of you. And uh, he had to tell um, the TV company in Holland that he was going to send the money to this museum, yeah. which now you will see okay. in next door our extension. We'll have a look at it, yeah. So the man was Nico Moritz, and uh, and that is him there, and that was the, what the extension looked like just before we started on it, and here, this was a six foot wall, so we came through into here and started work on here. So actually the museum was only this, this little... One room. Room, yeah. One room. That was Mr. Cuban's daughter's wash house. It where was. the cinema seats are. Yeah. They date back 1927. Cost eight and six each. Yeah. In old money. <laughs> um, and uh, now we have a lot of visitors coming from worldwide. Yeah. So a lot of people who, uh, well, visit the, the museum like to contribute to the museum as well? Uh, a lot of people tell other people about the museum yeah. because they've really enjoyed it. We only heard actually this morning that there was this type of museum in, in Halverson because we read uh, a local newspaper in which it uh, was stated that uh, some uh, fortunate man I think from this area was thinking of uh, erecting a statue of of Laura and Harley in due course. Yes. Uh, the gentleman in question, that will be what the statue looks like. And that will be eight foot tall, solid bronze. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, that's Mr. Cumin's daughter. That isn't Mr. Cumin because he died six years ago. Oh, too bad, yeah. And uh, so he never did live to see the uh, his dream no. fulfilled. And I, I read that he uh, also, um, it took him about 10 years to, to get this uh, accomplished. About 10 years, is that correct? Uh, 10 years, what, to raise money for the statue? Yeah. Uh, the final funding for the statue is mm. not complete yet. Oh. So they still need some money to. Uh, we still need to be money able to, erect. to yeah. erect it. Yeah. Would would it be uh, erected in in this vicinity here? It will be erected. Hopefully, it's going to be outside the tourist information centre. Which, which is uh, in this town, of course. In the town. Yeah. So it's going to be central, and it will be a partly pedestrianised road across, and uh, we hope to. That will be Mr. Cumin's dream come true, or would have been Mr. Cumin's dream come true. Well, I hope so too, because it will will also be very, uh, very nice thing for his for his daughter as well, won't it? Yes, it yeah. will be a very nice thing for all of the Sons of Desert in general. Mm -hmm. uh, Sons of Desert are mad long Island fans that go around with fezzes yeah. on. Do you do you have an idea when when it, when it's going to be erected? Will it be I the end of this year or? Um, if if you had a couple of thousand pounds in the back pocket... No, I haven't. I'm sorry. You would complete it. Oh, it and it that's about what we want. Yeah. So it's, it's only a, a few couple of thousand pounds uh, away from, from the actual realisation. Sort of, yes. Yeah. Well, we, we, will, we will spread the news anyway. And um, Mr... What's your name? Alan. Alan. Alan, thanks very much for this interview. And uh, it was, well, it was very lively and very interesting. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hier staan dus de twee grote komieken kom de aarde, Laura, Stan Laura en Oliver Hardy, uitgebeeld in een uh, in, in was. En uh, ik hoop dat het uh, 
dat jullie het interview uh, interessant gevonden hebben. Ik laat nu nog wat beelden zien van, van het museum zelf. Uh, on 1990 was 5,000 people. Where the, you mean the, the photographs that are shown there? Yeah, across the top of that wall there, across the top mm -hmm. of that beam. That's, okay. that's when we had the centenary. Yeah. And that's a big lot of people that came to the town. About 5,000 you said? Yep, about 5,000. And that's when we didn't have the extension, so we knocked through into here. Mm -hmm. yeah. So a, a lot of people also donated uh, things to this museum? Uh, no, this is all one man's life collection. Only this man you mentioned? Yeah, that's Mr. Right. Kubin. Mr. Kubin. It's, yeah. um, it's from about age four or five years of age. He was always fascinated, you know, on RD. And he started collecting scrapbooks mm -hmm, of yeah. them. And then later on, he he put uh, some stuff in next door yeah. and that was his uh, workshop at the time mm -hmm. and so at one end he used to repair old fashioned washing machines and that went a bit wrong so he he, he liked Lorna so he, he jumped Changed it. Changed it to, to uh, collecting st yeah. things uh, concerning yeah. uh, Laura and Hardy. Anywhere that there was a Laura and Hardy picture or cut out or anything to be got, mm -hmm. he would go. Yeah. Out of his own pocket. I mean, he didn't get he no <coughs> funding for that. No. But he, he paid for it uh, himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's one man's... One that, man's job, right. One man's collection. Yeah. What about the... Um, the two figures over there. Oh, them, them two <coughs> figures. They're from yeah. the House of Wax. Yeah. Yeah. Which you you mean not not from Madame Tussauds. From the Madame Tussauds. Yeah. 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 Now the House of Wax in Great Yarmouth, mm -hmm. that was uh, going a bit rocky, and so they approached the museum and they said, "Would you we like to buy them?" So we did. Yeah. So you bought you you well or, or Mr. Cubic bought them from, from Mr. the museum. Mr. Cubic brought them from the museum. Yeah. Two little models down there are not from England. They are actually from Romania. The the two in, in white in the in, yeah. the, in, in the little There's case. There's a little yeah. picture of the lady in the bottom. She went out to Romania to do a piece on the orphans out there. Mm -hmm. Now they were having a bad time by by Ceausescu, and uh, she got these for a farewell gift on the way back. And uh, she heard Mr. Kevin advertising the museum, mm -hmm. so she sent these two to the museum. Oh, great! Yeah. And she brought them up. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. I thank you again. It's, it's right. really an interesting museum. Thank you. Jolly.